again tonight with another video for y'all. Tonight we're going to open up the 1970-71 Tops basketball set breaks. There are five cards per box. And as always, there's only one Hall of Famer per box. I have a limited run of 35 boxes. This is from sportscards.com. So we're going to find out which Hall of Famer we can find. There are possibilities that we could find Pete Maravich's rookie card, which would be the best card to find in this set. Another alternative card to find, which are also great, are the Will Chamberlain and the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, also known as Lou Alcindor. This would be Lou Al uh, Kareem's second year card, which is a very desired, high, both are highly desirable cards. So hopefully we can find it in this box tonight. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy vintage sports cards, uh, baseball and basketball alike, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Be kept in the know for all future videos, uh, all future giveaways, as well as these box and set breaks and card show and shop adventures. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll break, we'll break into this. what I've been doing, as some of y'all may have seen, I always kind of keep these cards in my lap to kind of keep the suspense for myself as well as y'all to share with me. Okay, so as always, the first thing we'll present here is the bonus card. Bonus card provides discounts. Um, uh, potentially discounts for future purchases is also the possibility of um, getting a prize from it as well so you can scratch and find out so we'll put that off to the side and so i'm going to start from the top we'll see who we get first card as well that's a really cool looking card lee winfield of i'm guessing the seattle supersonics the colors kind of suggest it i love this is a great shot the aerial shot of him going for a layup now, Lee Winfield, uh, let's learn about him. He's a third-round draft selection in 1969 um, from the Sonics. Uh, he played at North Texas State uh, in college. He, he um, saw reserve backcourt duty at Seattle in the last season, so he was an off-the-bench guy. Played on a freewheeling team in college and came to the NBA with a solid background in the running game, so he's very well-versed in speed. And um, kind of like the Showtime Lakers, very fast-paced, a very fast-paced environment. In, uh, in two varsity seasons, Lee averaged 16 points per game and twice earned honorable mention All-American ratings. He has excellent speed and jumping ability and drives with authority. So it looks like the um, little graphic here. Lee's field goal accuracy mark as a college senior was um, .508, so he was 50%, it looks like. In, uh, in his field goal accuracy. That's pretty good. Um, this looks like it's his second year. His numbers were five points. Again, you know, this guy was an off-the-bench guy, so not bad for his first year. I don't know much about Lee Winfield um, after this, but you can see the card's condition. It looks like it was trimmed rather poorly on this side. It looks like it's kind of bleeding into the next card that was on the, that was on the press. Uh, but nevertheless, the card is great. Uh, I really enjoy this aerial shot. I think it's really cool. And it kind of shows the Seattle colors really well. I love the warm-up jerseys with the stripes. I mean, that's as vintage as it gets. So that's the first card. It's Lee Winfield. The next card up is the assist leaders with Walt Frazier, Clem Haskins, Len Wilkins. This might be the Hall of Fame card. Beautiful card here. Walt Frazier, Clem Haskins, Lenny Wilkins. And Len Wilkins had 683, Walt Frazier 629, Clem Haskins 624. Right behind him are other Hall of Famers, Gail Goodrich, Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, John Havlicek. Some great names on this list. Walt Hazard. Um, 
Very nice card. Obviously, Walt Frazier being a New York Nick, I'm very, uh, I know him very well. Um, he still does color commentary for uh, the M for the NBA, for uh, the Knicks actually for MSG. So it's really cool that we have somebody um, like a legendary Hall of Famer like Walt Frazier, nicknamed Clyde, um, doing the still doing uh, still working with the Knicks. Len Wilkins. I know Len Wilkins more for his coaching. Um, when he, I think he was coaching the Atlanta Hawks, and I think he was involved in the 1992 or was 1992 Olympics, the Dream Team. I think he was with them. He might have been with the 1996 team. I'm, I can't remember, or maybe both. But these, but this is a beautiful card. Um, just a nice condition. A little bit of edge wear down here, but nothing major. And the corners are impeccable. Next card up is Bernie Williams. Not the New York Yankee Bernie Williams, not to get confused. This is way before Bernie Williams. Uh, but he was with the San Diego. And uh, Bernie Williams, as a high school student, Bernie lettered two years in track and three years in basketball. So he was a multi-talented athlete. Attained All-American, All-Catholic League, and All-Metro honors in basketball. Leading his team to the league title in 1965. He was named the school's most valuable athlete as a senior, and he went to LaSalle. The Explorers compiled a 23-1 record, so he did a great job leading them. Um, this is his second year card, his first year, played in 72 games, so he was a recognizable player, it looks like. He averaged 8 points, which is not bad for a rookie. And he has five brothers and four sisters, so a very, very big family. He was he, 6'3", and it. And so uh, I don't know much about Bernie Williams' career after this, but he looked like he had a very nice career starting off. Great shot of him as well. Next card up. Oh, this is amazing. We've got two big ones. This is the All-Star card of John Havlicek. 1970-71 All-Star. Hondo, as they nicknamed him. So as you know, I'm a huge Celtics fan. So this is a great card to find. Don Havlicek. I have his base card from this year, but I don't have his uh, all-star card. So this is really, really awesome to find this one in this set. Uh, great condition. Obviously, Havlicek for a long time led the Celtics in scoring, which was surpassed, I believe, by Paul Pierce. Um, Havlicek won championships in both the 60s and the 70s. The uh, 60s was with the help of Bill Russell. And um, the seventies with the help of Jojo White, uh, you know Dave Cowens, and I'm also forgetting in the sixties you had like Casey Jones, Don Nelson, Sam Jones. You, know, you had a lot of great, great players. Tommy Heinsohn was there too. Uh, and what kind of comes full circle is that Tommy Heinsohn became the coach of the Celtics in the seventies. So it's kind of nice to kind of see that uh, that that kind of Celtic circle come to fruition in the seventies. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they won in 1974 as well as 1976. They beat the Bucs in 74 and beat the Phoenix Suns in 76. So uh, quite an accomplishment. Uh, Havlicek, great name. This is a looks like an old classic card from the 60s. Havlicek ignites rally. I think everybody remembers the, um, oh, well, I can't remember his name, Johnny Most. Yeah, Johnny Most was the old Celtics and now a uh, radio play-by-play -play guy. And I think some of y'all can remember uh, the Havlicek stole the ball video. If you don't, check it out. It's one of the greatest uh, sell, uh, basketball calls in history, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, that is John Havlicek, Celtic great. Last but not least, wow, this is pretty cool. Another league leaders card. This is probably one of the better packs that we have, uh, one of the box breaks that we've come across. You got uh, Doral Amhoff, Lou Hudson, and Johnny Green, field goal percentage leaders. And so they had the, pretty much that interprets being uh, 50. So Johnny Green was scoring 56% of the time. So anytime he took a shot, 56% of the time he was making those shots. Uh, Doral Amhoff was 54%, Lou Hudson 53%. And you have some Hall of, you have some big Hall of Famers in here. Uh, Lou Elson, obviously, with Lou Alcindor. 
52%, West Unseld, 52%, Walt Frazier, 52%. Uh, so some really uh, skillful, really just skillful players. And to score over 50% generally in a, in, you know, in a season is quite an accomplishment. Um, you know, just, uh, I think even to this day, probably, because there's so many shots now, there's so many shots being taken, a lot of three point shots, which makes it even more challenging to keep that field goal percentage above 50%. But somehow that's just become, you know, that's the new trend. Anyway, uh, to break this down, key cards, probably the best card is the Havlicek All-Star. But this is a great card as well, featuring some really great names. And uh, the other big card of this set is the Lenny Wilkins and Walt Frazier, Clem Haskins. That's another, that's a great card. So really nice box. Um, overall, some great names. So uh, again, let me know which card you like the most. I, mean, I think y'all can guess which one I like the most, which is the Havlicek All-Star card. Um, but you know, also, again, if you enjoy this video and uh, you enjoy vintage sports cards, baseball and basketball, uh, this is definitely a good channel. I would rec you know, I think it, it's definitely good to uh, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell uh, to be kept in the know for future videos. I'd really appreciate the support, y'all. So thank y'all so much and have a great night. Take care. <laughs>